Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim Sachs Rings Lab, and in this video, I'll hopefully be fixing this wobble that my new ring LED is giving me. So you're usually mounted over here, looking like this, but as you can see, there's quite a lot of play in yeah, in the LED, and I think it's coming from this region. So we're going to take a look and at how we. Uh, that's how we can fix this. So this is the LED. And as you are able to see, the wobble is being cast in this region. So the first step is um, actually removing the diffusive cover. Now I did already do this once. As I was preparing a, a 3D uh, screw like this. Uh, and it got stuck so I do know that you can remove this thing but there you go so almost there there you go yeah, of course you can see the cold and the warm uh, ring with the three wires that are coming from the uh, from the control unit. So there are just Phillips screws that you can unscrew. There are three, and there are self tappers. So please take care that you don't screw them in too hard, otherwise. That will just self destroy oh, itself. So now you can actually remove the ring. And the wire is kind of hot glued in here in the corner. But I think that you, yeah, you can just push that through and then you will be able to pull the, the thing apart now of course this will void your warranty if any so now as you are able to see there is a big empty space over here and also the flex of this part is quite visible So what I'm thinking is maybe I need to actually enforce it with some aluminum. I've got some strips laying around. Well, let's actually check if we've got space for that. And I think we should have some space for that. I'm still in doubt whether I should I mean, it's very, very tempting to just whack this full of hot glue and hope that that will give it strength. Because hot glue can be pretty hard. Uh, yeah, let's just do that and then we can always uh, try again with the uh, aluminum because I don't think that will really solve the issue. Now, I think that this uh, joint is strong enough this upper piece it twists the whole body around now we need the glue gun to be really hot so I'll just wait uh, a little bit more I think this has heated up enough so let's, uh, let's first try to get all the length we can, there we go. That wire is nice and straight. Maybe we should remove that blob of hot glue in the corner here as well. So we'll just uh, insert glue over there as well. Like so. Let's 
put a little bit in the corner over here. Oh, I think that uh, we've covered that pretty well, actually. Mm, we can do with a little bit more over here. I'm trying not to glue the ring LED in place, because that is not really what I want. I also don't want air bubbles in here. So yeah, that will take a while to dry. I'm surprised that it didn't come out of the bag yet. So I think it well dried up and wow. This is really amazing. It feels so solid. I wasn't expecting it to be this easy. It feels extremely solid. Of course there's a little bit of flex but yeah that's unavoidable. What I can do is maybe I can um, remove the ring and try to put some hot glue under there but then again it's it's already so good it has improved so much it's unbelievable I wasn't expecting this really so I'm expecting a lot more stable footage so that's uh, well, quite useful actually thinking maybe I can add some some glue over here as well I can always add it. We do need to solder this again, so why not ease our lives a bit and remove this one so we can get better access. So let's wait for the soldering iron to heat up so we can uh, desolder it and hopefully increase the strength even more because it feels really solid right now. Oh, wait, there it is. So. We didn't use the, need to use the soldering iron at all. So let's first let's get a new heat gun filament. Yeah, this is basically a whole filament. The glue that's it's oh that actually matches real close. So let's see how we can move this out of the way. Then again, let's wait for the glue to uh, to dry up. So it uh, has dried up. Let's mount the net back in its position. All right. So let's check through real quick if it still works well obviously only that part will work that still works so I've got it all back together and well it still wobbles and there's also some x-axis motion right now. Um, well, it, I suppose that it was already there. The mechanism on where the tripod is mounted is too high. So let me try to remove the camera so you can see it. Oh yeah, and the uh, lights aren't completely working yet. But I think that this part is too high. And it's causing, look, you can see it twist. And wiggle around and this is definitely sturdier but this is still a little bit wiggly so 
I guess that uh, I'll uh, try some recording some videos and if this works out then it's cool and if it doesn't work out well then of course uh, I have to uh, adjust this but yeah well let me know uh, down below what do you think of this uh, setup right now so I uh, see you guys in the next one bye hey guys this is Tim I hope you liked that video if you want to see more please make sure to subscribe uh, you can also share the video with your friends and hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.